Hi everyone, welcome to the new video. So today we will discuss some DevOps interview question based on real scenarios in Jenkins. So let's go. First scenario that we are going to see is you need to deploy the same application to dev staging and production environment with different configuration. So how would question can be like how would you design a Jenkins pipeline to manage multiple environment? I've already, uh, you know, I have made videos um, earlier uh, showing the Jenkins pipeline where I showed that how we can build parameterized pipeline. So same logic if we use if we use parameters if we use separate stages like if you want separate stages for separate environment and to handle those separate environments we need if we need to use conditional logic or some folder level environment variables then we can leverage them and accordingly we'll use them in our Jenkins pipeline this will help us to deploy the same application to different environments with different configuration so if you haven't watched yet that how we will build parameterized pipeline how we'll you know uh, I would suggest try uh, one out by yourself by uh, that will be very helpful then a second is if a Jenkins pipeline fails during deployment due to a timeout so the environment is not partially configured so suppose you know there should be like suppose in Terraform also I'll take uh, I'll take an example of Terraform whenever our Terraform plan uh, fails halfway then what happens Terraform apply sorry Terraform apply fails halfway then what happens our resources are in uh, um, in uh, are in orphan stage then how we will recover it so there should be some rollback strategy so same in Jenkins if our Jenkins pipeline fails halfway during the deployment so what we will what rollback strategies we should have we should have something like terraform state file uh, like what happened we have a terraform state file correct so whenever whatever is getting created it is getting updated in terraform state file so whatever is not getting created it is not getting updated so when if after if after again we'll run the terraform apply it will compare so similarly same we should have in our jenkins pipeline too that you can think about that those rollback strategies can be there some stage tracking file can be there like terraform state file some retry mechanisms can be there okay then uh, after like if our uh, build failed if something failed then how we can retry again how we can retrigger the pipeline from the failed stage that already we have in Jenkins if you go in Jenkins and you know if you go to particular build that failed you can find that from which stage you want to restart you can give it and again it will create it will restart the build from that stage but that is something which is manual so if we have to automate this how we can implement it then a second is code should only be deployed to production after QA approval so for that if we use input uh, input from uh, you know that will give input only after the input we'll uh, proceed ahead or all if we need to uh, you know integrate jira or some service now uh, something for approval some tool for approval if the ticket in the service now uh, changes to approved state or something then our jenkins pipeline get, will get triggered so in this way you should uh, you should think about because in actually when you are working in an organization you know taking manual input is uh, not uh, correct way so it is better that you log everything so for logging everything we use tickets uh, we use tools like service now jira or something like this to so that everything is logged also and uh, everything we can uh, at every time we can check go and check those tickets too so that is one thing that you uh, need to explore uh, then scenario is your pipeline needs AWS credential and Docker Hub tokens. So that I have already explained where you can store the credentials in Jenkins and then with with credentials uh, using the with credentials you can uh, you know use those credentials which you have stored in uh, your credentials 
uh, store so that is one thing that i've already explained in my uh, previous videos of jenkins then a production deployment fails you need to roll back automatically so always you know, always always whenever we are you know uh implementing or whenever we are uh, um, triggering a pipeline when it where it is a successful pipeline so we should store those artifacts store those images in uh you know uh, wherever we are storing in a repository or uh, wherever we are storing it or we are pushing it in s3 bucket or any azure artifacts where we wherever we are pushing it we should always put a check that in post whenever it's a failure then there should be a rollback stage trigger so you want to tag docker images with uh, git commit hash and push to easier so always there will be a requirement that whatever docker image you are pushing it should be you know uniquely identified or you know uh, there should be some uh, identification unique identification so either you uh, you know um, uh, append it with the git commit hash or you append it with the build number but git commit commit hash is one of the good way so there is a groovy script to get this uh, you know your commit hash and then you can append it in your docker image that you can try now your test suit takes 30 minutes to run like how will you optimize your jenkins so basically we should use parallel block so that if, even if there are so many you know uh, tests happening so those tests should run concurrently on multiple agents and uh, it should uh, so that if everything is asynchronous so uh, it will be easy to uh, like it will reduce the time but everything is happening uh, you know one after the another one once get finishes then the other will take will be executed that will take time so be independent so yeah that's all that's all for today's video i hope it's helpful please let me know your views in the comment section till then take care bye